Hi, Hello, beautiful people. Um, it is it is the next day. Um, as you can hear my voice, I am not feeling well. Here, all the way to people of South America. I don't know why I don't say that. Here, all the way to the people country to not feel well. We, we still do anything. We out and we go into Linda Tours. Toy and, and tour of Linda with Toy Diana. Um, this is a full day tour. So it should be packed with fun filled activities and all of that. It's supposed to get a feed somewhere and all of this things. I don't know if I will be seeing them because you know. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, yesterday was um, a short ish day. In terms of what we did, we went to another mall. We left Movie Town and went to Gift Land Mall. Um, it, it was bigger than Movie Town, but still not big. I don't know, like, we get spoiled in Trinidad with the size of our mall because we walked past it. Probably. You want me to join us? Like, less than 10 minutes. <laughs> And we're like, oh, we reach back to this, this side? Oh, so sure, that's the end of the book. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, there was that. So, we did that. Of course, we bought popcorn at Hobbit Town because <laughs> it's a classic Hobbit Town right now. Um, we bought popcorn. Yeah, as, exactly, because that's who I am as a person. I can't go to Hobbit Town and not buy popcorn. So, we bought popcorn to get back to the hotel. And we just watched movies and ate popcorn. I ate the majority of it. There's still popcorn left, so I will be eating that later. I don't care if my throat is bothering me, and I, I do not care. I could be on my deathbed, bring me popcorn. So, that's the vibe. I will check my dinner when we get things up to the top. So, we hear the tour bus is there already. We actually met the tour guide already. Her name is Melissa. She was pleasant. Everybody has been pleasant, really pleasant thus far. Um, so we just waiting for some other people before we get onto the bus um, to start the tour. I, I am a bit sad that the bus has AC because the way my, my throat is set up when I'm not feeling well, my sinus and stuff with the AC, it'll have my nose running all day. But you know, thankfully I have a face mask and I have some napkins. Oh, so I should be fine. Oh, outfit. The oot, 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 oot. Outfit of the day. So I have my fedora hat. Oh, by the way, I am terrible with traveling because I came to the airport, to Piaco International Airport, with my pick home, but it was the metal one. So of course it went through the scanner and it was like, you know, you can't go without that. It's another weapon. I was like, shit. I was like, do you all allow persons travel with plastic one? He was like, yeah, and I have a plastic one at home. I forgot it. So anyway, so my hair is looking terrible. I'm happy I walked with some hats. So fedora for today and my black and white t-shirt, green pants that says that I'm allergic to humans and the white canvas because it said wear sneakers. I also have a change of clothes in the bag, slippers, um, close to bathe and we're supposed to stop somewhere to bathe and that kind of thing so yeah love that for me i'll check in again you know up on the bus now we're on our way to linden so it's approximately an hour an hour two hours depends on the traffic so as we go along i will i will tell you things if you have any questions, you're gonna ask me, okay? Thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you. So we are on the bus. We are on the tour bus. We are on the tour bus. Oh, yeah, so the. Um, it's 
drive from the meeting point to Linden. She said it's about an hour or two, depending on traffic. It shouldn't have a lot of traffic as it's Sunday, apparently. Uh, Saturday, apparently. In Trinidad, we have traffic on a Saturday, as if it's the weekday. So there's that. Um, ooh, a thing that we realized in Ghana, a lot of people ride motorcycles. Um, it's scooters. Things. It's really interesting. I like that. I like that. That will help with the traffic in Trinidad. More people need to do that. But then again, there's leave home with hot sun and then the rain is just bust off. That is true. So that's the thing. Um, also, it's really cold in Ghana. We asked the tour guide if it's normal. This cold, and she's like, cold. Cool. Cool. This is how it normally is. And we're like, no, it's cold. We were freezing. We did not use the AC in the hotel yesterday. And we were still freezing. And we were under three covers, a sheet. Uh, um, we call that thing a TV and, and a big like, and a comforter yeah. kind of blanket thing. It, it felt weighted actually. It was so heavy. Yeah. I love that. that. <laughs> also, I feel like time this goes slower in Ghana because I got up multiple times during the night after feeling like if I slept for hours, yeah. thinking, oh my gosh, we're gonna be late for the tour, and it was now twelve o'clock. Maybe, maybe it's that we went to bed too early. No, maybe it's that the weightedness and the blanket. It just it is no, do that it gives, you, it gives you a more comforting sleep or something, so you feel refreshed quicker. Probably. Because I, I got up several times, so it was like midnight, and then it was like after one, then after three. I'm like, how is it not time to wake up yet? If it was true that it's done halfway through the day already, yes. <laughs> it's crazy. So you would have slept your life away. Yeah, so that's the thing. But there's no time difference or anything, which is very strange to me because I felt like, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, um, okay, bye. Diana has 10 administrative regions. Okay. And we go from region 4 to region 10 today. Linden is in region 10. Okay. It's a 4 to 5 miles highway. It also takes you to region 8, 9, and 10. So that is Madia. They have buses that traverse this access road. But after Linden, they don't have any more, it's just dirt. So uh, the other areas. So that is from, from Georgetown to Lethem or to, you can also drive from Georgetown to Lethem or to Bovisa. We're going into the hilly sand and clay region now. So we're going to see a lot of sand, you're going to see a lot of hills, you're going to see a lot of pineapples, probably peanuts, I don't know. But they grow a lot in sandy areas. I thought she said Karani at first. I was like, okay, cool. Karani in Ghana. Um, so that is the, you can't see it, but the road, the highway is very hilly. It's like this part of the highway at least. Um, it's really hilly. Um, we've been driving in AC, so my sign up. So I'm really grateful for the stop. I like that. I love that. <laughs> also, um, the terrain in Ghana is very um, sandy. So you see places where in Trinidad you would see you would see dirt and houses built on dirt if it's not like paved or whatever. It's actually sandy. So like. You see in sand, you know, you would see that only by the beach in Trinidad. No, everywhere along the highway, it's just white sand. So they have really nice sand in Guyana. Um, the tour guide told us that the water is actually um, dark and brown because of the leaves as well as the minerals and the, the timber because they 
one of their biggest natural resources, I guess, is timber. So that's also very interesting. <coughs> so we here. We stopped, gonna get some pictures with the highway in the background, hopefully. And then we going again. Oh. Ooh, it's really sunny. But the sun feels really good, actually. Really, really good. Vlogception! <laughs> we are here at the Blue Lake. Look at all these large sun deposits. And there's the lake. It's really big. So we're gonna walk down. No. <laughs> Must be Trinis, eh? So pretty. Wow, it's really gorgeous. Almost there, almost there. Almost there. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm really not going to close to the edge because it's literally sand. But this. Oh my gosh. It is beautiful. Yes, Guyana. Yes. Love that for you all. Wow, this is gorgeous. Oh, it has a bench here we can sit, but I really don't want to go too close to the edge. Because it's sad. As I said, oh, this is not. Mm -hmm. sit in the middle. Because I will fall. This is gorgeous. Wow. 